If you're still using cartridge blades to shave, then you're making a massive mistake for both your skin and your wallet. Not only do cartridges cost a fortune, but their pulling action causes constant ingrown hairs and acne. And if you don't start swapping them out weekly, cartridges will start pulling your facial hair and shredding your face. I'm going to explain instead the type of razor you should be using and the way to prep your face in order to minimize the damage and acne to your face. On top of that, my method is cheap and safe for beginners. The first step is to stop using the cartridge razor you have and start using a double-edged safety razor instead. Instead of holding three or four blades at once, this razor holds just one single high-quality blade that doesn't tug at your hairs as much. Because each blade is so cheap, you can easily keep swapping them out between shaves in order to maximize sharpness while still saving money. As an example, 50 feather blades will cost $30 on Amazon, while Mach 3 Gillette blades cost $36 for 15 of them. Feather blades are one of the highest quality, most durable, sharpest blades on the market, while I'd say Gillette Mach 3 cartridges are pretty much middle of the road. Even if we assume that the blades get dulled equal speeds, the Gillette would have to last more than three times longer in shaves for them to be financially worth it. The extra blades on the Gillette cartridge have essentially no functionality and really don't save you that much time from making extra passes on your skin. Single blades basically beat cartridge blades on almost every metric from cost effectiveness to quality of shave. To start double-edged shaving, you'll of course need a razor and blade. For the razor, I recommend the Mercur MK34C double-edged safety razor. It's extremely durable and high quality, and it's known as a great beginner razor because the angle that the razor exposes a blade at makes it just enough in order to minimize the chance that you accidentally cut yourself while still allowing for a close and smooth shave. For the blades, feather blades are once again my favorite and personal recommendation here. As I stated, they're one of the sharpest blades on the market and they have fantastic quality and durability for their sharpness. Quite simply, the sharper your blade is, the less irritation you'll experience when cutting through facial hairs no matter how coarse or thin your hairs are. A quick disclaimer here is that there's definitely skill involved with shaving with a double-edged razor, even if it's not that hard to learn. It'll still take some time for you to figure out the right angle and weight to hold your blade at, so don't get discouraged if your first few shaves aren't exactly smooth. But once you master it, you'll be able to shave just as close and just as masterfully, if not better, with a double-edged razor than compared with a cartridge razor. I honestly struggle I struggled for years with shaving and finding the right way to prep my face in order to minimize cuts, irritation, and acne. That's why I find shaving in the shower with the water constantly running over your face to be the best method. The constant flow of the water lubricates your face and blades and washes away the hairs. On top of that, the steam and heat from the shower will keep your hairs constantly softened. Before I shave, I first use a cleanser and wash my face to make sure it's absolutely clean and that the potential cuts don't let in any germs. Next, I apply two ingredients to my face. The first is petroleum jelly or Vaseline. This substance helps create a slippery protective barrier on the skin while holding up your facial hairs to be cut. Critically, it also does doesn't wash away easily underwater. Next, I apply castor oil to the area I will shave on top. Just like Vaseline, castor oil helps to make my skin slippery and protect it from cuts. But on top of that, it's an extremely thick oil that will help lubricate my razor while being difficult for the shower to simply wash off. With these two ingredients protecting your skin and with the hot water and castor oil acting as incredible lubricants, it makes it extremely easy for the razor to glide across your skin while giving very little irritation. Personally, I always shave with the grain, which means going in the direction the hair naturally falls. This means going from up to down on your face. If you want to get a closer shave and have the skill for it, you can also shave against the grain, which is a down to up movement, but this increases your chance of accidentally cutting yourself or getting an ingrown hair because it is too close. Personally, I prefer to just make some extra with the grain passes if I need to get a closer shave. The only downside of shaving this way is that you can't see your face. You'll get the hang of it after a while, but you might have to jump out of the shower at the end to make some final adjustments. Still, this method has been by far the most successful for me in reducing acne, redness, and cuts while still being able to have a comfortable and close shave. Just make sure you clean up properly after each shave. Castor oil and Vaseline might take an extra bit of scrubbing in order to get off the bottom of your shower. Single razor blades must also absolutely be disposed in a dedicated razor blade holder for the protection and safety of animals or people that might rummage through your trash. Finally, be sure to clean and disinfect your razor blade after use. I personally keep a cup of isopropyl alcohol and just pop it in there between sessions. After you're done shaving, it's critical that you moisturize your skin in order to soothe the damage it may have taken and protect it from the elements. Although there are a bunch of dedicated aftershaves, balms, and astringents out there, I personally think that they're unnecessary and redundant if you already have actual effective skincare in place. 
That's why I just go ahead and apply my normal skincare products on top of my face, which will go ahead and heal my face after shaving on top of the other benefits that they have. If you're interested in learning more about my skincare routine and how to create your own, I'll have a link in the description below as well as a card on top. And that's my guide into why you should be using a double-edged razor and how to shave in order to maximize performance and minimize discomfort. If you like what you saw, be sure to give me a comment down below and subscribe to keep in the loop for my other self-improvement videos.